hello and welcome to high maintenance things I do for a low maintenance life. This first one is actually something I've not done before. I've talked about how I use this peel off eyebrow tint where it's very easy. You just paint this on and remove it. However, it does have to stay on for two hours and it only lasts four days. So today I'm trying just for men beard dye because this is a like a hack that's been going around TikTok. So this is it, <laughs> just for men's beard dye. And it seems to be a very simple process. So I thought I would bring you along for that. So everybody says you start with Vaseline or Aquaphor on a cotton bud or a Q-tip. So you just wanna trace them. Then very simply, you have this tray, a brush and a color base and developer and you just mix equal parts of those. I'm just doing this amount. And then you mix with the end of this brush. So now we're just gonna paint it onto the eyebrows. Now in terms of how long I'm hoping this lasts, for one, I'm hoping it dyes the skin because as I say, I have no need for it to dye my actual eyebrows. There is already, the brow hair is already really dark. It's just the skin and the gaps that I need to be dyed. I have been wanting microblading for so many years now and the problem was I couldn't even save up for it because it takes it's like a two hour process um, and I'd even booked consultations in the past and as soon as they said it's like two to two and a half hours long I just knew that I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to sit up for that long and getting out to the place would be difficult for me. So I'm hoping for this to last a couple of weeks at least. <laughs> I don't think it looks really good and it doesn't seem to be developing at all yet, which I'm nervous about. Okay, so my eyebrows were on for five minutes. They didn't look much different. So I did an extra two minutes and now they are looking quite dark, um, but I decided to do another minute. Alexa off. And that is the final result. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure how much that works. So I've had a look back. They do look darker. I think I was just hoping for them to be even bolder than this, particularly here. Um, but if they do last for several weeks, I'm happy with that. And I think in future I would leave them on for even longer. So that was eight minutes and maybe in future I would leave them on for 10, 11 minutes. But yeah, I think it's a really good idea and I hope it works, as in I hope it stays on and I hope next time it's bolder. And also, I didn't do very well because I didn't show my before and after too well, so there's also that. <laughs> but I think it's a good hack and I think worth a shot. Another thing that I love when I do it is these heatless curlers. You just wrap your hair around it. I find it quicker than braiding hair, although it does still really take it out of me. So this was only the third or fourth time I've done it this year. And we're in June. <laughs> it's also, it's comfortable to sleep in, but not if you sleep in like noise cancelling stuff and earplugs and stuff like I do. This isn't right. These small bands are what I tie the end with. This needs a, uh, a scrunchie or something. So you want to take small bits at the top and just twist it around. This isn't a very good tutorial because I have to be quick. Otherwise I will faint if my arms are up too long. So I, like, I know that I'm not explaining this well, but it's because I physically can't spend long on this. And if you do suffer from pops, dizziness, fainting, breathlessness, etc. It gets much easier the lower down you go. Maybe I'll explain in a second. So, when you're down here, you have to pick up quickly anyway, regardless of symptoms, because um, otherwise it will be like gaping here. Oh, hi again. So another thing I've been doing for, I think about two years, I've been using this Garnier hair mask instead of conditioner. It works in exactly the same way. There's no extra steps. I just don't buy hair conditioner anymore. I buy this mask. I'm gonna have to readjust. That was, um. <laughs> threatening to hurt my hand there. My hair used to be really 
I mean, it still is very frizzy, but it used to be extremely frizzy, extremely big. Um, and this has just tamed it down massively to the extent that I've had a lot of people in my life over the years telling me that I needed to cut my hair short and start again. Like, oh, it's all dead, cut it all off. People would say that. The thing is, it was never dead or in bad condition. It was just my hair type. Um, people who have very frizzy, wavy hair are advised to use products that are curly girl approved. Basically, if you have the hair type where you brush your hair and your hair gets bigger, frizzier and messier, you're supposed to use these products called curly girl approved. And this one is, it just means this is gonna be great for anyone with frizzy, wavy, curly, dry, potentially damaged hair this is really good yeah and like a way to know if this will be good for you is if you brush your hair and it gets frizzier and messier then um something like this is really good however it did occur to me that i've lost a lot of hair and so i was like singing this product's praises for a long time but actually i don't know if my hair is just so much more under control now because i've just lost over half of it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from, because obviously when I do these videos, I pin my hair or put my glasses on top of my hair so that you can't see how bad the hair loss actually is. But yeah, I think this product is amazing. I think it does really help with frizzy hair. You also don't have to condition your hair as often because this does such a deep condition each time. But yeah, I think this is great. The only thing is, I don't know how great because I've lost, um, not from this, from my illnesses, I've lost half my hair. So I don't know how helpful this is because my hair just looks different over time now from losing so much of it. Oh, hi. So more high maintenance things I did while I'm in a very low maintenance looking state. <laughs> um, so I don't think I've ever spoken about this. I actually got laser hair removal here and there was barely anything there to start with. Um, I did it for a couple of reasons. One was because I was also going to get a different part of my body lasered. So laser hair removal removes hair. It can be permanently or like more permanent than other times. So I thought I'd tell you about that. So between my eyebrows, as I say, there was barely anything there to begin with, but I was only charged £15 per session. I went... Uh, every six weeks three times and that was it the hair was gone and it never came back you know it was years ago now and it still hasn't come back there's nothing there um, and then with the other part of my body that I got the laser hair removal on that was my underarms basically it's it's really good in the sense that you can have very long stretches of time without hair and some people reach a point where they have no hair but to be honest most people don't and most people you start off going every like six to eight weeks or four to eight weeks and then after maybe like six or eight treatments you then go on maintenance and at that point you go every say eight weeks or three months or something like that now the payoff for me, I think it's worth it, you know. I think it's worth it to have, like, three months of no shaving and then just once every three months I go in and get it done. It's done on a bed, think about it like a spa, and that would be the case for all other parts of your body as well. You'd just be taken to that bed that you lie on, even for your face as well, you're laid on the bed. So, yeah, as I say, I haven't spoken about it before because... I don't know, it's just a very personal thing, isn't it? But actually, that is something I do. That's how I deal with that. Um, and as I say, because I started it several years ago, uh, my eyebrows just don't need doing, don't need doing anymore. And then my underarms, you know, once you're at maintenance, you can stretch it out as long as you like. Sometimes it can be uh, four or five months, if that's what your body gives you. It's kind of like everyone's body is different um but it seems like most people end up going back at least every few months 
I honestly have to say, when I started the laser, I started it because I thought you had about a year of um, laser treatments and then I thought you got five to seven years of no treatments. That's why I started it because I thought if I can just push through this one year um, and then I won't have to shave my underarms for five to seven years. That's what I thought was going to happen. Even though it's not what happened... For me, it just still seemed to be worth it because it was every, as I say, like every three months, for example. It's not like that in the beginning. In the beginning, it's every sort of six weeks. The appointment, it takes about one minute for each underarm. It's that quick. So one minute here, one minute there. Like underarms are very quick. Whereas if you were to get your whole legs done, I think it's about an hour uh, which would be very intense, I imagine. I've never done my whole legs like that. Whilst I'm here, I thought I would show you some things that failed. So this one, again, was for my eyebrows. It's called By Ellie Brow Shape, and it's like a really thick, strong gel. And you're supposed to put it on with one of these spoolies, brush your eyebrows into position. And I was thinking I could brush my eyebrows so that they cover the bald spots, but it just didn't work. It was... It was itchy and um, it essentially just didn't hold up. It didn't do that great of a job. And in my case, it wasn't very good. But of course, the purpose is not to hide bald spots. I think for some people that just needed it to hold their brows so that they're not messy looking, it would work. But for what I needed, which was to actually comb them into place to hide bald spots, that didn't work for me. Also, it didn't last very long. I remember um where i'm in bed a lot and often i have my sleeping mask and stuff on it just didn't work for me which is no issue with the problem it's just i which is not a problem with the company um i just i guess had high hopes for that when uh, <laughs> i had no reason to because they're not designed for it another thing i tried which was a fail was this it's supposed to be magnetic lashes and they are magnetic because they attach to this tray which is magnetic they've got little magnetic bands here um the idea is you put on magnetic eyeliner and attach the lashes because for me i found it's taking off mascara which is so much energy that i just don't have anymore and to be honest even putting on mascara it's funny because when i was younger i remember thinking the eyeliner is the skilled part and it should take longer but it just doesn't like i can put eyeliner on in like three seconds for each eye whereas mascara even though there's little skill you have to do it over and over again so anyway my thinking was the eyeliner is the easy part let's just put one line of eyeliner snap on a magnetic lash but it just didn't work out for one i don't know if this truly is magnetic because this was like a cheaper brand it was just really like globby and messy it looked really bad i couldn't get them to snap on very well um and also when i took the eyeliner off it made just as much mess on my face as mascara would and that's not what happens with eyeliner normally like eyeliner wipes off pretty quickly and pretty well um, whereas this was like it was just as messy as mascara and it looked so much messier so this magnetic thing was a fail however it may not have even been magnetic this could be a scam and this could just be um eyelash glue in here either way this didn't work for me mm -hmm.